Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a science fiction adventure film, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. During the year 1899, a terrorist group called the Phantom barges into the Bank of England using their newly invented technology. They are riding their newly made tank and the soldier guard does not have enough power to stop it. They manage to enter through the heavily secured vault, but instead of stealing gold, they steal the blueprint of Venice's foundation. The British government suspects that Germany is possibly responsible for the attack. After a few months, the Phantom kidnaps scientists in Germany while also blowing up their zeppelins. This time, the German government thinks that the British Empire attacks them, causing tensions between the nations. After that, a mediator goes to a British colony in Africa and visits an infamous hunter and adventurer named Quatermain. Quatermain's best friend, who serves as his proxy for story seekers, welcomes the mediator. There, the mediator claims to be sent by the British Empire to recruit Quatermain for a team to prevent an incoming world war. So Quatermain reveals himself and refuses to accept the mediator's offer, since he is already retired after his son died. A group of assassins suddenly arrives and assassinates Quatermain's best friend, thinking that his best friend is Quatermain. He then fights back against the assassins, despite having an old gun. The assassins appear to be having modern guns and armor, but using his skills and experience, he manages to defeat the assassins. The remaining assassin tries to escape and manages to run farther distances. Still, Quatermain's precise shot hits him in the legs. Quatermain tries to get information from him, but he poisons himself to death. Thinking that the war in Europe might reach the African colony, Quatermain is forced to accept the mediators offered to join a team that will prevent an incoming war. Quatermain eventually arrives in London, where he meets a mysterious man nicknamed M. M reveals that he is forming a team called the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. The League will fight back against the Phantom, who aims to trigger a world war to gain profit by selling the most advanced weapons. This is why the Phantom kidnap lots of top scientists from different countries. M reveals that the League must prevent Phantom's plan to attack the world leader meeting in Venice. After that, M introduces the other members of the League, the chemist, Mina, who turned into a vampire after meeting Vampire Dracula, the scientist, Captain Nemo, who leads the submarine Nautilus, and the invisible thief, Skinner, who turned invisible after drinking an invisibility serum. After the meeting, the League heads to the East London docks to recruit Mina's former lover, Grey, not gay, who becomes immortal due to a cursed painting. There, Quatermain reveals that a witch doctor declares Africa will never let him die after he saved his village. Apparently, Grey and Quatermain are former colleagues. As they are talking around, the Phantom attempts to ambush them. It appears that they are trapped by the Phantom Men. Fortunately, an American Secret Service agent, Sawyer, comes to the rescue, allowing them to hide in cover as the Phantom Men shoot at them. They get their weapon, and they fight back at the Phantom Men. They keep fighting, and as the Phantom Men are about to be defeated, Phantom's masked leader runs his panicking muscles away. Quatermain chases the masked leader, but a guard stops him, allowing the masked leader to run upstairs. Sawyer rushes to catch the masked leader. He tries to shoot at him, but he misses, and the masked leader manages to escape. The League reunites in the hall. There, a remaining Phantom Man holds Mina hostage, thinking that she is as weak as a little chicken, but she then instantly bites him, but not to tongue massage him, and sips the diabetic blood out of his greasy body. After that, Sawyer decides to join their team to help stop the incoming war. They go to the dock, and they ride Nemo's gigantic submarine Nautilus. They are heading to Paris to hunt down Hyde, to let him join their team. There, Quatermain and Sawyer are tasked to hunt down Hyde. They find Hyde running along the roof, and they lure him to the net by letting him dodge bullets. Quatermain shoots at the roof, causing Hyde to drop to the net. He then triggers the net, trapping Hyde inside. The net instantly drags Hyde to the Nautilus. Apparently, Hyde is wanted for different crimes in London so the League offers him amnesty in exchange for joining them. In response, Hyde returns to his original personality, named Dr. Jekyll, and he accepts the offer. Quatermain then declares that the League is complete. After that, the League immediately sails to Venice to stop the Phantom from attacking the world leader's meeting. Along the way, Sawyer asks Quatermain why he appears to hate the British Empire. Quatermain reveals that he and his son accepted a mission from the British Empire. In that mission, his son died in his warm arms. Quatermain continues his target shooting, and he offers Sawyer to shoot the target at a far distance. He advises Sawyer to take his time before shooting. Meanwhile, Dr. Jekyll finds one of the potions that will turn him into Hyde is missing. He suspects that Skinner steals his potion. 
the Nautilus eventually arrives in Venice, where there is an ongoing festivity. There, they need to search for the explosives set by the Phantom to destroy the foundation of Venice. The Nautilus takes a stop, and they walk out of it along with Nemo's army and divers to search for the explosives. As they are looking for Skinner, who is still missing at this point, the bomb underneath Venice explodes. The explosion is coming from the center of the city, and buildings are falling like dominoes. Nemo then suggests firing a rocket at a building to stop the chain of destruction, but they need to find the right target. Sawyer drives a Tesla car out of the Nautilus, and they ride it to find the target. As they are driving along the city, the Phantom Army is shooting at them to prevent them from halting the explosion. Mina then flies her heavy body out of the car like a fat bat and uses her power to cover the car. Mina's bats arrive, and they swarm at the Phantom Army. Quatermain finds the Phantom leader trying to escape, so he walks out of the car to chase the leader. Sawyer continues driving along the falling buildings to find the target. As he successfully finds it, he shoots the flare, allowing Nemo to fire the rocket at the target. The rocket hits the right target, and the domino of destruction finally stops. The commotion in the city stops as everything settles down. Meanwhile, Quatermain continues to hunt down the Phantom Leader, declaring that he has failed. The Phantom Leader instantly stabs him. In response, he strikes back at the Phantom Leader, causing the Leader's mask to be removed. It is then revealed that the Phantom Leader is actually the League's recruiter, M, all along. After being revealed, M immediately runs his mysterious figure away from the scene. In the meantime, Gray reveals himself to be M's accomplice. He shoots the Nautilus operator to take over its operation. He rides Nemo's exploration pod and immediately escapes from the scene. The League rides the Nautilus back and they find a recording disc. They play it and it turns out to be a voice recording of M revealing his true plans. It turns out M unites the League in order to get a sample of their power. He will use the united power of the League to create the most powerful weapon ever made. Apparently, he recruited Quatermain to hunt down Hyde. After that, Gray turned out to steal Nemo's magnesium phosphorus, Skinner's skinny blood, Dr. Jekyll's potion, and Mina's vampiric blood, so as to research and copy their powers. As the recording stops, M declares that the Nautilus is set to explode. After that, the explosions begin, causing water to enter the Nautilus. They then need to go back to the ocean's surface to save the Nautilus from sinking. Nemo says that they must seal the Nautilus first to prevent water from coming in, and in that way, they can resurface into the ocean. Dr. Jekyll goes against the raging water, and he drinks the potion to turn himself into Hyde. He swims underneath the waters and uses his mighty strength to seal down the Nautilus. As he successfully did it, Nemo manages to resurface the Nautilus, which saves them in the end. As everything settles down, they receive a Morse code from Skinner. Apparently, Skinner manages to sneak inside the exploration pod. He then says he will guide them to M's location. Skinner leads them to the frozen mountains of Mongolia. They eventually arrive there, and they find a massive factory of weaponry. They wait for Skinner in a cave. While waiting, Quatermain encounters an old tiger, sensing its end. As they talk about the dying tiger, Skinner finally finds them. Skinner reveals that the factory contains furnaces that produce M's weapon of destruction. On the other side of the factory, the kidnapped scientists are forced to work day and night to create a new version of the League. They are recreating versions of invisible spies, an army of hides, and vampire assassins. It turns out, M intends to sell it to the nation that has the highest bid. The League then distributes their tasks, as they plan to attack the factory. Quatermain and Sawyer will hunt down M, while Mina will handle Grey. Meanwhile, Nemo, Dr. Jekyll, and Skinner will fight the Phantom Army to free up the scientists and their families. The League silently enters the factory, and they find that the weapons are now being prepared for shipment. Skinner then attaches bombs to the furnaces, which create the weapons. Nemo and his army go to free the prisoners. They remove the cage doors and let the prisoners out. Meanwhile, Quatermain and Sawyer sneak to the hallways to find M. There, an assistant hands over the box that contains Nemo's science, Skinner's skin sample, Mina's blood, and Dr. Jekyll's potion. A soldier enters the room, reporting that the League has penetrated the factory. The army with metal armor then shoots at Nemo's soldiers. Hyde grabs a massive metal door and uses it to shield Nemo's men. This allows Nemo to advance further to the factory to save the scientists. Nemo uses only the swords as he slices the Phantom soldiers. He then kills them one after the other with the help of his men. In the meantime, Quatermain and Sawyer take hold of M in his room, but a soldier tries to stab them, allowing M to run free. M grabs the box that contains the League's power while the two continue to chase him. An invisible Phantom soldier stops Sawyer out of the blue. The invisible soldier tries to stab him. He uses his gun to defend against the attacks, and he kicks the invisible soldier away. After that, a soldier with metal armor throws flames at him. 
The invisible Skinner triggers the flamethrower behind the soldier, causing the soldier to burn himself. However, Skinner also gets burned by the flames. Sawyer finds him suffering in pain in the corner. Suddenly, the invisible phantom soldier points a knife behind him. The soldier then manages to take hold of him. In the other room, Mina confronts her treacherous former lover, Gray. The two then enter into a sword battle, rather than muscles wrestling. They manage to stab each other's faces. But since they are immortal, their wounds instantly heal back. They exchange blows again. Right then, Gray's cursed painting catches her attention, causing her to be stabbed by him. He walks near her, and she instantly stabs him back. She nails him in the wall, using the knife, and she takes out his cursed painting. She lets him face his cursed painting, causing him to age rapidly, until he rots into nothing. Downstairs, a soldier drinks a massive dose of Dr. Jekyll's potion, causing the soldier to turn into a gigantic monster full of muscles. The gigantic monster fights back at Hyde, and it greatly overpowers Hyde. As the gigantic monster is beating Hyde, Nemo attempts to help him. Nemo tries to repeatedly stab the gigantic monster, but it just throws him away. The muscular monster continues to punch Hyde up using its heavy muscles, causing him to turn back to Dr. Jekyll. They then run to a narrow place to escape. The monster keeps punching the wall to catch both of them. The explosions set by Skinner earlier explode in time, causing the structure to collapse. The heavy stones drop, which crushes the monster's muscles into mashed potato, ending its muscular life. On the other side, Quatermain continues to hunt down M, and they fight each other. He tries to strangle M with the chain, but M manages to push him away. He keeps punching him until M drops down to the floor. He grabs an axe, and as he is about to finish M down, the floor shakes due to the explosion. After that, he takes out his gun and points it at M. As it appears that he finally caught M, the invisible soldier who holds Sawyer appears behind them. He instantly shoots the invisible soldier to save Sawyer's life. Because of this, M manages to stab Quatermain in the back. M immediately jumps out of the window and runs away with the box of League's power. M manages to get far away in a short amount of time. Sawyer gets the gun, and it is a challenge for him to shoot at that distance. Quatermain is known to shoot at that far distance. Unfortunately, he is injured, and his glasses are broken. Without a choice, Sawyer needs to take the shot. Quatermain advises him to take his time. As M is approaching the exploration pod, Sawyer takes the shot. He hits M, causing M to drop. The box of League's power falls into the waters, and it submerges. Sawyer celebrates the shot, but as he takes a look back, he sees Quatermain dying already. Quatermain then declares that the new century belongs to Sawyer, since he is still young. The movie ends when Sawyer and the other Leap members attend Quatermain's burial in Africa. Before leaving, Sawyer puts a gun at Quatermain's grave. In the end, the African witch doctor is seen performing a chant on Quatermain's grave, implying his possible resurrection. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.